Hi, this is Kate from Is Delicious Designs again. Well, this video is going to be about turning our 2D little mascot for FIFA World Cup 2014 into a 3D one with a little, little round ball body. Very easy. All we have to do is make a ball. So, we're going to do it on a single loom. We're going to be um, having all the columns the same height. You're going to need your rainbow loom hook because we're going to be moving our bases. And I'm going to start with my big base holdings column two and three. And the others are just holding all three of them like that. The arrow is facing towards you. If you don't have an arrow, it's the open part of the peg facing towards you. And we're going to be using just two colors, green and white. We are going to be uh, doing 12 rows, I believe. Let me see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 rows. That's right. Okay, so we're going to start using double bands, as I said, which is two bands that you're going to place on the pegs together as if they were one. We will do our first three columns. And for each of these, and then one and two, and then take an end cap of a single band and wrap it around once and twice, and that is going to be our end cap. And we're going to do this on it's going to be very boring, all the same. So three pair of white. Two pair of green and a green end cap on the end of each. The end cap is a single band that you wrap around your hook twice. Like that. And you are going to need to put crossover bands over. So a single white band there, a single white band here, a single green, and a single green, and let's loop that up. Dig down, grab the bottom two bands, and loop them up. You are going to also need two S-clips, or C-clips, doesn't really matter. We're just looping up the first two columns. Then you're going to get a holding hook and you're going to take the first column off your loom and take that first column of pegs off and move it into position number four. I'm going to do the same again three pair of white and two pair of green and a green end cap. Drag these across and loop up. Take this second column off the loom, turn our loom over, move our base plates across, and then budge column of pegs across. This will be five. This 
single and drag across. Now, unfortunately, my uh, recorder, my phone, decided to run out of memory as I was doing this and stopped recording. So what I've done is I have continued by moving my rows, my columns, up and over until I have got and placed my bands for the 11th column. Okay, so we were at five. You keep doing what you were doing until we get to column number 11. When we have got column number 11 and we've pulled all our crossover bands over, we can actually loop up both of these columns at the same time because they're the end. We mustn't forget that each end has to have an end cap and I can see this one does not. So a single band wrap once and twice and I'll pop that there. It has to have an end cap. Okay, so Let's dig down, grab those two bottom bands, and we'll loop these up. So I am sorry about that, but I think you, you get the, uh, the idea of how to do these until you get to column 11. Now we're at column 11, we're going to go under, grab the two, and loop up. I guess if nothing else, it makes the video shorter, doesn't it? Just make sure you pause it and catch up with me. All right, so now we can take all of these off our loom like that, okay? So we have them all on our, unfortunately for me, my holding hook is one of my nasty hooks that I hate. <laughs> now, I'm going to grab two white bands, place them on the end of my hook, like this. And I tend to uh, have my finger here like this. As I pull these over, I can keep my finger taut so that these bands that are on the end of the hook do not fall off. Now I can see here there's one that's trying to pretend that he's supposed to stay on the hook, but he's not. So either use your fingers from your right hand, or if you're left-handed, your left hand, to move them along, or keeping this taut by pulling with your finger, move it across with one hand like this, but you must get all these loops over and onto the two bands. Once you've done that, spread it out. I definitely look like I've got a band there that is not looped, it's a bit odd. But you know what? Yours will look perfect, so I'm not going to worry about it. So I'm, I'm not going to worry about this loose band because we did double band. So even if I just snip this one off, because we double banded, I still have a band where it's supposed to be. So I'm not going to be too, too worried about that. It's still going to look okay. All right, so the trick now is we need to put this around him. So rather like we did for the teddy bears, grab, and if you don't have two hooks, you can use a pencil or um, anything else. All right, I'm going to put this around his neck. Now, rather than joining it at the back here over the top of the blue, you're going to push your hook where the white bands start going in, push your hook through, grab the end, you've got one, two ends, so grab one end and pull it through so it's underneath where the blue starts. And then you're going to take those two up, over and off. And we're going to use an S-clip and poke the S-clip through the loop of the bands and attach it like that so that the S clip is there holding it together. Now if you go under where the blue is again you can attach the other end of the S clip if you poke it through under here under the blue. I'm not showing you terribly well. You can attach the S clip again to the other end of 
the bands so that both ends are attached. So I'm trying to get my fingers out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. See how we've attached it to the other end? And that can hide discreetly behind the blue. And you obviously want to make it so that we can fiddle around with it after the fact. But that's how you're going to want it. Now the arms, just like with the teddy bear, work out where we want to be. So column six should be in the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six. This should be in the middle, in line with his nose. You're going to want to go one column, that's column five. So go in between column five and column four. Poke your hook through, grab an end cap or two, whatever, it doesn't matter, but grab something on his hand that's not going to pull the rest of the bands out of shape and pull it through the ball. And by grabbing the end cap, you're not misshaping the rest of the bands and pulling them out. So we'll do the same again. So one, two, three, four, five, six. This is the middle one. And then you're going to go between. So you've got, this is the middle one here, is it? One, two, three, four, five, six. This is the middle one here. You're going between. So I'm going to go about here, push my hook through, make sure I'm not in the 2D part, grab the end cap, and splay this out so that I can fit the little hand with the arm through. Okay, like that. Now, for his legs, with this one, I've just left them coming out of the ball. If you choose to have them um, coming through here, you can, but I actually think they look perfectly fine just sitting outside the ball. So what I'm going to do now is I need to collect all of the end caps that are green. So I'm going to push my hook through the three little loops at the end of each column. And it does get quite crowded on your hook. You just need to squish them all back. Oops, that was more than just the three little loops. So there's all the little loops. I'm going to get two green bands. Put them on the end of my hook and I'm going to work all of these loops through. And there should only be two left on your hook. So if you find that there's three, you've got one that's trying to be sneaky and stay on the hook. Needs to come off. Again, you're going to need an S clip or a C clip. I prefer the S clips. Push his legs through so that they're locked between. And I'm going to just come under the blue bands there at the base of his tail, grab the green, the other end of the green, so I'm, I'm reclaiming my bands, move these under like so, and I've lost one, go back and get it. Come here you, you're coming along for the ride as well. So pull that through, um, like that, these pair up, over and off and we put our S clip or C clip onto these two bands like so. I'm not sewing this back up, it's just going to stay like that, alright. What I am going to do though is use my hook to grab the other end of the S clip and poke that through again 
so that it can hide under the tail. Now, if you want to make sure that it doesn't go walk about, attach it to a band under here. So where's my S clip? There it is. Right there. I'm going to use one of these blue bands and I'm going to just clip that in on my S clip. Sorry, I'm I'm trying to do it so that you can see what I'm doing, but I'm being a bit of a fumble finger in my attempt. There we go. It's locked in. I'm going to push that back under here so that it's hidden again like the top one under his spine. So there is his little ball that is his body. Push, I know it's not very elegant, but stuff this inside the body so he's, his legs work. His tail is supposed to be up a little bit like that. Now the only thing that we really need to do is I made this one a little football. So if you're wanting to make a little football, all we need to do is have a single loom. They can just sit there out of the way. And we're going to say two white, two blue, two blue, two white. And we're going to come down four down here. We need end caps, which is a single band wrapped around your hook twice. Again, do it the alternate colour. So this was blue, so we choose a white end cap. This one's white, so we're going to choose a blue end cap. Use crossover bands. I'm just going to use single white bands to go across like that. And then we loop up. Now I've done it blue instead of black because on the actual picture of the mascot it was blue. Take this off your loom like so. Two white bands. Thread that through and reclaim the end of your band there. I'm using another hook so if you don't have two hooks um, perhaps use something like a uh, toothpick to hold it. Collect your end caps. So now that I have all the end caps collected on my hook, I'm going to place two bands on the end of my hook and move the end caps onto those two bands and then reclaim the end. Now, what I want to do is put these together like that. Okay, now it's going to be obviously a little bit tricky, so I'm going to take my hook out of these ones and I'm going to firstly collect these two bands here and move the two that are in the middle up and off and on there like that. I'm going to take my hook or if you've got a toothpick or whatever and put that on there. I'm then going to do the same for the other side, put those two on here and then take the two closest to me up and over put the loops back on and then up and over like 
this squidge it into shape as you can see it's not a ball ball it's um it's more just of a round shape just so that it can resemble a ball and this is going to go on his hand here now to get it on his hand i need to take my hook out make sure you don't lose those little loops you're going to go through the palm of his hand you can see there's two bands here and two bands here we're going to put our hook through the first two bands put our ball loops on our hook and then we're going to go and put our hook through those other two yellow on his palm of his hand take a single white twist it figure eight loop it on itself so it's tight put that on the end of your hook and we are dragging this through here so that we can slide those all on so all of those are on that reclaim the end of the white band and take to the two closest to you up over and off your hook stretch it out and splay it so that you can fit the ball through like that and that is going to be how he's holding our little football now as you can see it just sort of flops over like that so what I actually did with my other one was I attached a white band to his stomach about here a single white band stretched on itself pull it through get the other end the two closest to you up over and off and then with that loop that you're left with here so I can show you you're going to splay that out and pop the ball through like that just so that it keeps it push it into shape or squidge it into shape so that it keeps it close to his chest so that it's not sort of falling down all over the place and there we have our little mascot with his eyes, his ears, his little nose in a 3D format. Hope you enjoy making him. Take care.